You know, there's nothing like the mobile market for a game company to show its true, greedy face. And Nintendo has been using the mobile market lately to display its most wantonly avaricious side. We already know by now that Mario Kart Tour recently released and is a load of hot shit. A limited, restricted shadow of a real Mario Kart game, it frequently lies to players by pretending it's online when it isn't, it's full to the brim with fucking loot boxes, and more pertinently to this discussion, it has a subscription model that costs the same as Apple bloody arcade and boasts features like the 200cc race mode. Well, one of Nintendo's other mobile quote-unquote efforts, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, is getting in on the subscription action as well, and it's fucking wank. Pocket Camp is getting not one, but two different subscription models, each offering different things because of course. One of the subscription plans, just like Mario Kart Tour, is ridiculously expensive for what it fucking is. This one costing more than Apple Arcade, which is a five buck a month subscription service that gives you access to full-fledged games. Tons of full-fledged games, many of which are pretty damn good. Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is offering the Cookie and Depot plan, which costs $7.99 a month. Eight bucks a month on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. For that money, you get a choice of five loot boxes, they're called fortune cookies, but they're loot boxes, including ones that aren't in the game anymore, as well as more storage space for acquired items. So it's basically an eight buck a month drip feed of in-game gambling, how fucking nice. The other subscription service is the Happy Helper Plan, which is $2.99 a month, and will basically play the game for you when you're away. You can designate one of your villagers as a camp site helper, and they'll run around collecting event items and finishing jobs off for you while you're not playing it. You will also be given 60 leaf tickets, which is the game's premium currency per month. By engaging with and subsequently encouraging this bullshit, you'll get to be part of the Pocket Camp Club, which will also reduce crafting times. These plans are available now, and they've not exactly gone over well with the vocal contingent of the game's player base. As Polygon notes, Pocket Camp is now a grindy affair. Now I played it at the start and I always thought it was boring and underwhelming and took too much of my time, but it only got worse and worse. Items that used to be available for the in-game currency started being sold for the premium currency. In-game events needed more attention. You didn't just log in once a day to play it. You had to access the game multiple times a day, constantly managing the tasks set before you. Basically, like way too many video games these days, Pocket Camp was offering less and demanding more. So with that in mind, this looks like yet another classic case of a video game company creating problems to sell you solutions. Steadily make the game grindier and grindier and demand more time and be less fun so you can be hoodwinked into spending regular money to get some help and have the game play itself for you, alleviating the burden on yourself. And it's a con. It's always been a con. These games are designed on purpose. It's not an accident that they're grindy. It's not an accident that a standard race mode in Mario Kart Tour is gated behind a paywall. It's not an accident that Animal Crossing Pocket Camp demands attention from its players multiple times a day. And Nintendo knows that demanding that much time of the player isn't all that good because if it was good, there wouldn't be monetary fucking value in something that allows the player to bypass it. Now, as I noted, some of the fans aren't exactly happy with this. Here's a Reddit post titled 7 99 per month, are you fucking kidding me? Here's a TV that looks like an apple. The announcement trailers for these fuck-awful plans have been ratioed pretty hard in the like and dislike bar, and comments have been switched off for the pair of them. Speaking of which, I fucking hate these trailers, these mawkish little trailers. There's just something grotesque about offering a $7.99 scam job of a subscription service in an overwhelmingly saccharine friendly way. In fact, I'll show you the shitty little trailer now. Have you Ooh, heard the news? news? Pocket Camp Club is here. Oh, hooray! It's an optional paid oh, not hooray, that's awful. That Throw it in the fucking bin. Even more. It's Next optional, that'll get out clause. Trail. They always make sure to Could throw that word out there. If you're a fortune the game being grindy as fuck, that's not an option, is it? Items, then you may want to give this plan a try. 
This plan grants you access to the members Basically, if you like shops, gambling, where you can, you can subscribe to gambling. Including some cookies that are currently out of stock. Utter bullshit. So, which fortune cookies will you choose? Fortune cookies. Mm. They're loot. Mmm, decisions, mm, decisions, decisions. It's so twee. That's what I don't like about this. Another perk of this plan is this is a con job of a subscription, and they're being twee about it. Manipulative. With this plan, storage will no longer be an issue for those who are crazy about collecting. Storage shouldn't be an issue. Besides plenty of cookies and access you to made the issue up. Houses, Pocket Camp Club members receive short Very much like time, this. If you're waiting half an hour to make Pocket something Camp in the Club game, Journal. that Both was a decision made in only. development. You can receive these Clearly a decision that doesn't add anything to the game since you can pay to take it the fuck plan, away. You can store your it's valuable. It makes so the game better more. to if take crafting away, you see. Club piques your interest, you can check out our other membership offerings you too. Fuck off. More you fuck off, mate. Happy Helper Plan. And Happy Helper Plan. Caretaker fuck is available in our other announcement video. Plan. We hope Pocket Camp Club inspires you to quickly craft new furniture. Collect thousands of items and create your ideal campsite. Join the Dark Order. What a load of toss. What a load of toss it all is. And that's basically been Nintendo's mobile output. Fucking toss. I myself, I've praised Nintendo in the past for its console offerings not being full of microtransaction-fueled, greed-filled games. But clearly the company has found an outlet for the unchecked covetousness that lies at the core of seemingly almost every corporation. I mean, the best we can say is at least Nintendo's relegating it to the mobile market which outside of the subscription Netflix style models that Apple and Google have been offering is largely a lost fucking cause. But nonetheless, these subscription services are woeful. $7.99 a month for a mobile game is ridiculous. And what you get for these 8 buck subscription services to Mario Kart Tour and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp are so fucking contrived and flimsy, it looks like they already decided they wanted a subscription service. They decided that that bit first and decided what to actually put into these services far later. Now whether you engage with these games or not, whether you don't care about them because they're just some shitty little mobile games, I'd say it's at least worth being a little bit concerned about because it's Nintendo showing exactly what kind of industry bullshit it's capable of. While Nintendo has resisted a lot of the greedy trends, a lot of the shifty monetization methods on consoles like the Switch, it's demonstrated on mobile that it is not above those monetization methods, it is not above creating problems to sell solutions, it is not above microtransactions, it is not above loot boxes. It's just indulging all of these slimy practices in a market where it can better get away with it. It's just a healthy reminder that no matter how different, no matter how friendly Nintendo looks, no matter how much it tries to stand apart from exploitative game companies, at its heart, it's really just another AAA video game publisher.